Are you sick and tired of how noisy the P1S is? Well, I've got a solution. All you need is some pillows and some bungee cords. Let me show you how to do it. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, so this isn't really the way that we're gonna quiet down the P1S. Um, I've got another way and I'm gonna show you that. I've got a nice little uh, decibel meter. We're gonna break that out. We're gonna see uh, how this thing performs, it's just kind of stock, and then I'll show you the solution. I'm not gonna take credit for it. Came from another uh, 3D printer uh, person on the YouTubes. Uh, but, you know, I wanna show you how this can work, so let's get into it. Okay, before we get into the nitty gritty of the uh, test itself, uh, let me just explain what we're gonna do. So. Here I have a decibel meter. You can see as I'm talking here at normal volume, um, we're hitting anywhere between 60 and 70 dB. Now obviously it's pretty close to me, but what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna take this decibel meter, I'm gonna set it on a table about three feet away from the printer. I'll also take the microwave, uh, microphone, put that about three feet away um, as well. Then we'll run the printer, um, I'm gonna run a file that's usually pretty noisy. It's one that I, con I, I often print. Um, it is the, uh, the top um, section of my rotary clamp here. And uh, when it goes through the fill pattern at about 44 minutes, it's usually pretty noisy because it's doing a gyroid fill. So it's moving very fast, a lot of uh, direction changes. So we'll do that with the, uh, the printer um, in its normal state. And I'll open the door, close the door, kind of give you some ideas. Now, obviously, I run it normally with the door closed because I want things to be quiet. Um, so that's the way that we're going to run that. Then I'll show you the uh, solution uh, that I, uh, I recommend that you do if you haven't already done this. Um, and we'll do some more settings. Now, I'm going to tell you right off from the beginning, it definitely works. It's not going to cut your, your noise levels in half or anything like that, but it, it definitely makes a, a difference. The printer is running. You can kind of see behind me right now, um, and it's definitely made a difference. I used to be able to hear this thing uh, running just about anywhere in this room, and now I don't notice it most of the time. My bed is 25 feet away or 10 feet away. I run it uh, when I'm at, at night, and it doesn't bother me uh, whatsoever. So. Um, now that you know how the test is going to run, we can get into it. Okay, we just sent the job to the printer. It's uh, getting ready, going through its preparation steps. And I'm going to let this uh, thing run. And probably 20 minutes in, once it starts the gyroid fill pattern, which is where it's usually the most noisy, um, we'll take some readings. All right, we have the initial run done. Now we're going to attempt to deaden the sound. So what I have there is about a 40 millimeter thick piece of foam. Uh, it's just shipping foam that I got when I had to send in a printer for repair. So we're going to uh, put that down as our first base layer. On top of that base layer of foam, we are putting a 16 inch by 16 inch stone paver. Just got that uh, at Lowe's, cost a couple bucks. So now we have a nice uh, kind of semi-compressible uh, membrane with that foam and we've got a very solid heavy uh, block on top of that that the printer is going to set on uh, so let's get the printer back in place. Okay and now you can see that we have the printer sitting on top of the paver on top of the foam so we've got a pretty solid base for this thing to run on now. Okay, and I know many of you are going to ask, all right, you put the printer on all of this foam and this concrete and all that kind of stuff, but did you rerun the calibration? So yes, um, 
The uh, last section that we're going to look here is the uh, decibel readings after I reran uh, the 20 something minute calibration. So it was able to do all the tuning uh, afterward and I am on the latest firmware uh, which I believe has uh, some motor noise improvements as well. So we'll be able to take a look at that uh, decibel reading. Uh, All right, so there you have it. Um, we had a pretty decent uh, difference there. So without the uh, foam and the cement paver, uh, you can see we were at 56.3 max. And uh, when we added the uh, paver, we were at 53.1. Now three decibels is about the uh, um, minimum amount that they say that a human is able to perceive. So it is a percep perceptible difference. And six to 10 decibels is a doubling or halving of the sound. So we're kind of, we're not like, you know, twice as quiet or half as quiet or, or whatever, but uh, there's definitely uh, quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of difference. So um, again, not my original concept here, but hopefully it's a way that you can uh, quiet down your P1S. All right, folks. So obviously, Pillows are not the way uh, to go about this, but I bet it would be pretty quiet uh, with all those there. So anyway, if you found this uh, content enjoyable um, and suffered through my little bit of humor there in the beginning, um, I would appreciate it if you would uh, help me support the channel and just go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell so you know when I drop new content. Um, as always, uh, I appreciate the time that we get to spend together and let's on keep on burning, learning, and I guess in this case, printing together. Take care, everyone.